What would be your advice for someone who's about to have a baby? What has been the hardest thing about being a mom? What was the most surprising thing you discovered about being a mom? What is the best memory you have involving your child? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys If you're seeing me for the very first time My name is Akusia Behine If you're a tennis subscriber, hey boo What it do? <laughs> <laughs> so in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title um, I <laughs> Hey girl <laughs> I have a whole human being it's on my me. channel. I feel like I've never had anyone on my channel. Never? I have had someone on my channel. I have had Conan sister on my channel. And then you. So yeah. So in the for the first time in a very long time, mm -hmm. we're having another person on the channel. And in today's video, wait, wait, wait. wait. You gotta tell them my name. No, I gotta let you tell them your name because I wanted to give you the whole platform. So. Well, my name is Imani. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you know real quick. <laughs> so, guys, this is Imani, my friend. What are you looking at? I thought I saw Nana or Kona. Oh <laughs> so, this is Imani, my friend. Imani is um, a mom as well. She's a mom of two beautiful girls, just mm -hmm. like myself. So, we're going to do a mom tag video. And I have a couple of questions on my phone that I pulled up from the internet. So, mm -hmm. I will ask the questions and then Imani will tell you and then I also tell you um, my experience or whatever the question says that we should say. Right. So, if you're interested in this video, please keep on watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Comment down below right now if you want to see <laughs> Imani a lot on the channel. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Comment down below if you guys really want funny. to see this face a lot on the channel comment down below um, maybe a couple of comments will let her come as mm -hmm. much but yeah so first question mm -hmm. how old were you when you had your first child I was 19 okay I was 23 when I had my first one Aww. what is oh uh, I should be saying oh uh, for you why I was 19 I was 23 See? I mean, you know what, as long as, I feel like as long as you're, you've graduated, I had a job, I had a car, you mm -hmm. know, so I understand I was still young, you know, I was still in my prime basically, but I mean, I had a lot going for myself, I still do. I mean, if uh, you know, was I'm over 18, plus as long as you wanted to do it, I, I, I just feel like if you're it doesn't really matter your age I mean it matters your exactly age if you're say. of age you know 18 and 19 that that starts to become of age but there are some girls who are not you know like in the predicament or situation that they need to be to have a kid but yeah. you know I, I had a lot you know going on already I was I mean, as financially as stable car and everything so yeah. it, the age really didn't matter it to didn't me. matter yeah it, it really and I have a lot of experience me. with kids yes a lot I, I, as of now a lot because you need like to that. be mentally ready in also, order to take care to of a take kid. care of a kid yeah you so need to it be. wasn't too much for me like I knew exactly what to do I like I knew everything so it was pretty it was, it was easy you've been I doing say. amazing so far shout out to my mom too she was there right, my mom's right, very active right. and, she's and I exactly, love that exactly yeah. active grandparents are important yeah that is completely different that's different that's if different. you guys want to see a podcast from me and Imani, <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. You see how we go off track so fast? <laughs> we talk too much. Right? <laughs> see? So if you guys want to see a podcast, see or listen to a podcast from me and Imani, comment down below because it's right. in the works. Okay? Right. A Next, lot of knowledge uh, yes. in this frame. Yes. <laughs> Next question. What was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? Um, I mean, with either of the kids. For the first one, I think the hardest thing was I was working a oh. lot. Oh. I, I My pregnancy, my first pregnancy was really smooth. I didn't gain like any weight until I want to say I was like seven months. That's when I started oh, like wow. really showing. Showing, okay. Um, I never had any swelling. I didn't have any type of, you know, nausea, morning sickness, nothing, nothing. I had like... A pretty good smooth I, that's like not even common in pregnancy exactly. like you always have at least something I had absolutely nothing you know um I think it was just the working I worked from 8 to 7 oh, wow. Monday through Friday so I think that was in winter 
through yeah she was born in march so i was pregnant from july of 2015 all the way till march of 2016 yeah and it was I, it was really tiring like yeah. that was just the thing i was always tired amora um i think with her which is the also the problem that i'm having with this one now mm -hmm. is the smell yeah yeah everything i have a really good sense of smell you guys and <laughs> now that i'm pregnant again number three Ooh, my god bless my little heart i know i'm, <laughs> bless I'm my so soul. you know how i screamed um, when she told me oh my god and i already have two girls a five-year-old and a one-year-old and they're so beautiful um, guys oh uh, and they're Adorable. so smart that that's what drives Adorable. me crazy like amor is gonna be two and she speaks in sentences wow yes <laughs> like I uh, like I'll be putting on perfume. She'd be like, "Mama, can I have some?" I'd be like, "Yeah," and I'll put the perfume on her. And she'd be like, "Mmm, I'm, be I'm beautiful." <laughs> I <know. laughs> well, Amora is actually really cute. Yeah. She's too uh, much. She is too much. I I love her. But um, the smell. It's like now that I'm pregnant, the smell has just like enhanced a thousand. I, I know. And I swear to you, my apartment guys i'm really clean she knows that of course my house you walk she in you can drop something on the floor and pick it up and eat it because <laughs> i promise you there's no she, dirt yeah, the floor has yeah. been mopped like i clean every single day every i'm day, yeah. i get that from my mom like i used to grow up like oh mom you're so OC ocd and now look at me <laughs> i'm my mom and <laughs> funny enough that's a crazy thing that's I what swear i realized to about you. myself i used to be like mom like, like it would be that a i used fork. to mention to my yeah. mom yeah I'm doing I'm the same thing. I'm working and she's like, oh my God, all these dishes. I'm cooking and the I'm whole like, time because literally that was what my mom was doing. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I swear it to you. It is crazy. But this, I mean, but it's beautiful. I can't do that. I, I can't do it anymore. The smell, this apartment, I feel like it stinks. Hey, money. Did, I don't know. I swear. <laughs> now that tells me I'm crazy. The whole time. But it only used to happen once I became pregnant. And the you smell still clean of food. with the things that you clean with. Yeah, it's not the cleaning products. It's like food. Yellow rice, you know, I guys, I'm half spanish yellow rice is my thing mm -hmm. like i love it i learned it. how to do sazon rice since from i've her, been pregnant i can't eat if it. if you've seen it in the vlog i learned how to do it from here since i've been you, pregnant i can't eat it so what are you eating when now? i cook it i can't like i throw up Ooh. you know I, i'm throwing up in the bathroom and then i'm having to clean my face and wash that my hands really good before i go finish cooking but it's like fish. i can't even i love you fish. make it even when you make it it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what i love fish mm -hmm. i love fish love fish love fish <laughs> i get that from my dad oh. and i can't i can't even eat that so, what so are i you, think that's what are you eating i have to like eat crackers <laughs> <laughs> white rice like i could eat eggs white rice like with toast what? okay um i could eat beans that's mm -hmm. the really weird part you know like spanish beans you know okay. all the seasonings potatoes um olives i could eat that but i can't eat the yellow rice and i don't know what it is fish i can't eat it steak i, I mean can't what eat i it. tell myself whenever i'm pregnant i always say that it's just for a period of mm -hmm. time it's just for nine months you come back to being normal but those nine months are a long i know it feels those like nine months time. are it like, like four years ending. yeah yeah exactly it's like you're pregnant it's for so, so long and it's dragging and it's like pregnant. you got the last month Ugh, i think that's I the worst the last month because it's like when you're like so get out i can't lay down oh right God, i'm just tired i can't wait to do this oh like pass me a blunt like i'm over it i know oh. I'm over it. okay so with my first i'll say that because it was my first mm -hmm. it was generally just bad because it was first experience everything i was throwing mm. up the whole time i remember throwing Ooh. up in trotro if you don't know what trotro is it's mm -hmm. like a bass it's literally like a bass mm -hmm. but you have like a conductor and then the person who drives right. and then they take money and then they move from stop to stop so I was I used to have like bags the whole time mm -hmm. because I would throw up in the car. It was so bad. It was so bad. It wasn't I mean and I was wow. always like I was I And throwing up is not even a good feeling. It's in not a, right when you're right. pregnant it just feels like And ugh. I I was doing it a lot when I was in town. Mm -hmm. Like imagine like you're in town doing stuff and then you have to throw up. That's the thing that I think I remember the most. But generally it was okay. I was sleeping for the most and what part. About the baby? Oh and with this one this one too, I throw up a lot. Um, but this one, I'm always tired. 
this mm-hmm. one I'm always tired like this one there's always mm-hmm. like a back pain a waist pain like a neck pain like there's always something like, like I'm always feel. tired like yeah. pregnancy makes me very moody in the morning I don't want to talk to anybody pregnancy mm-hmm. just makes me something else and I don't like it it definitely yeah, makes and you I moody don't like because it. my first pregnancy I couldn't stand my nephew yeah and that's like that's like my little brother <laughs> and I eat and a I couldn't lot stand when I'm pregnant I eat so see, much see I'm the opposite I eat so much when I'm pregnant mm-hmm. I don't hate anything every food that I don't like right now when I'm you pregnant you see I got this have I eaten I've eaten a piece of it see I would eat all of this if I wasn't pregnant it would have been had. gone before see, we left the to your place. what if I came to your place when I was mm-hmm. pregnant I'll, I'll take you a snack you got cookies you got snacks <laughs> you got this make some yellow rice with some chicken <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, that's, okay, that's okay. just what it is. That's how when I'm pregnant, I eat a lot. But when I'm not, I don't even care. These for food. cookies are good. Can I have some more? <laughs> when I'm not pregnant, I don't care for food. So that's that's what it, I know. I'm the opposite. Yeah, yeah. So generally, I don't like my pregnant self because I'd rather not eat a lot because I'm I'm a lazy right. eater. I don't like to think. Yeah. So that's that's that was it for both babies. Um, we're just gonna do like six to seven questions guys because we're really talking a lot so what uh, that's <laughs> what they want <laughs> that's what they want <laughs> okay 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 they want to hear okay so question number three can you think of any good things you enjoyed during those nine months yeah i'll tell let's just say one each i, would I mean whatever say let me not restrict it you guys want to catering that's the best part. True, 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 true. It's like everybody's true. like, here, here, I know, you want I this? Know. Take this. Right, like, even when oh you're God, outside. Like, even when you're outside, people do you a lot of favors because you're right. pregnant. Right, it's just yeah. like because you're pregnant, it's like you have this And it's like they're doing pedestal. it. I don't know like, if they're doing like, it to the baby, really, or to you. It's to the both of you because it's like you're a mom. Okay. But it's also a baby, something that's, you know, like a little blessing, like, you know, nurturing and stuff like that. And that's it's so like, oh, baby. But at the same time, it's like you're a new mom. Mm-hmm. So even after you have the baby, like, you know, for those first couple of weeks, you still get that, you know, little Love attention, and attention and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you know? true, true. So, yeah, I think it's like both ways, but that's my oh. favorite. So nice of you to have found something to say because <laughs> that's the nicest. I think I, I like the fact that I could just relax and not think about anything mm-hmm. because my normal self, I always have something on my mind. Mm-hmm. I always feel like I have to get something done. That's just what. Th- that's just the kind of person that I am. Oh, so yeah. even when I'm at home, I have a long to do list. Right. And sometimes when I don't finish the to-do list by the end of the day, I literally beat myself up in my but head. But now it's like because you're pregnant. It's like, okay, you didn't finish it. That's fine. You know? Now I can Carry actually it on to sit the next down day. and watch a movie. <laughs> right. And I was watching a lot of a lot of the true crime stuff. And not criticize yourself. And I didn't feel mm-hmm. bad about it. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't feel like you have to go and do this. Right. It's like when you're pregnant, you have to I'm doing down, a job. Honestly. Like, I feel like I'm already doing the job. I'm doing a job. I'm doing a whole After job. the pregnancy, <laughs> being a mom is... <laughs> That's a that's, that's like a, a whole job. That's like a, a nine right. to five plus a, a extra no, shift. Exactly. Like. <laughs> so yeah, I think Girl. I enjoyed the moment where I didn't have to think about anything. I didn't feel pressured right. by myself because literally nobody was pressuring me. I was putting the pressure right. on myself. So yeah, uh, that's mostly how it, it always is. You know, you're pregnant. People are like, no, relax mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You're like, no, I want to do it, this like, now. <laughs> I was cooking the whole time because right. I always wanted to do. And Kono said, you don't have to. Cook cook every day it's america we don't cook every day he's I, always saying listen, that I, I, I cook every day but it's not every single meal Imani, like most I uh, most of every day, every day i i make breakfast every sometimes day sometimes i, have I to. meal prep for the week and i will still I find myself it cooking. in me to meal prep i meal i love to meal prep i have bowls for meal prep i mean like, I, I have bowls I when i cook and you. i got leftovers <laughs> i could do it for you i meal prep because i love to because i have ulcer mm-hmm. so i love to watch what i eat i mean i recently just started let me not act like I've i can't ma- but i mean it's that. four of us in the house i, I know, get that i'm from here america <laughs> <laughs> And I eat certain things. I I eat what Nana eats as well. So he's from Ghana, so oh, yeah, you know he yeah, has his preferences as well. So it's like we can't meal prep, like because I we're constantly that. making so, so many I meal different prep things for myself. I never meal prep There's, for all of us because right. Kona doesn't even kind of like the things that I meal prep. Like I meal prep um, stuff like American food. Kona likes local food. He likes his good 
local food. Like what? Like his good banku and like oh, okay. he likes his traditional. good traditional, yeah, traditional food. And like I would, would do, would, would, would I would do prep? like our chicken alfredo. I'll do stuff. I don't meal prep chicken alfredo, but I you eat like chicken alfredo. I love chicken alfredo. I try to get Nana to eat it, and he's like, it's too cheesy. I love <laughs> like, chicken alfredo. Like you? ask my people on the vlog. I love, they listen, know. I love me some good old. Big I make mac and mac cheese. and cheese, and I make some, some cornbread. Listen, I some have good old cornbread. Some I literally greens. make cornbread bread last night the money i make all of that stuff no no out of all that stuff i just said no no eats the cornbread corn <laughs> likes, corn like, likes like a good hot food so he likes his pepper food and mm -hmm. i don't like pepper because of also i don't like right pepper. so we're on two whole different so i meal I'm prep <laughs> so i meal prep for myself usually and then i'm sometimes i mean i mean things like white rice he can obviously he right. can have that he can have chicken so the next question in your opinion were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off? <clears throat> I'd say way off. Totally? Not 100% accurate. Exactly. Like, <laughs> I'd say like 40. Yeah, yeah, for the most <laughs> Only part. because everybody's labor is different. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that. They're like, oh, you're going to go through this and this and this. And it's like, okay, I might go through one of those five things. You never go through... Every, every single thing. thing yeah like yeah. everybody's birth everybody's like carrying Journey, process yeah, yeah everybody's labor and delivery like it's it always different. different like yeah. it's not going to be the same as every other your person on and your second it's different it's never right really there's the always same. one something that's that would different. happen that is different yeah. and i want to say like mostly the pain people would always say that the pain is a hundred percent terrible and i'm like it was bad but it wasn't unbearable unbearable like, yes it was yes, definitely yes. like tolerable. something that you can pull through like, that's what i always yeah see. you're like damn this shit hurt like yeah. <laughs> but you're like I okay mean, it's not like I could do it. pain but it's painful yeah my, my i had period cramps that were really really bad when i was younger so it wasn't like too far i know far people off have really it. bad period cramps i do yeah. too my yeah. cousin she literally has to take shots Every time she gets her period, she well, has to get a sh uh, like a shot, yeah. and I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. I, I mean, I, there are people that do that, you know. Yeah. I understand that, but I was just like, but why? I mean, you need a G shot? Ghana, they'll tell you to tough it out because it's normal, right? It's like, period, you, period. I, feel, I just feel like like take a Motrin or something, you know, like that. It does, a Motrin does help. It does help here and I there, but I'm not big on medication. But. I was supposed to. I mean, they gave me that for after the baby, mm -hmm. but I still take it here and there but you when... guys i've also had two c-sections oh i've you... never pushed a baby out so how are you talking about paying the money i girl this... they, listen after i had aria mm -hmm. that was the well not like the first first time i've ever been through like really tough pain because i <clears throat> fell when i was younger and i cut my whole head open like my to my almost to my skull and they had to just do a whole bunch while i was awake i was five i still remember that like yesterday oh, did you cut yourself i like was that? you know the old school guys heaters? i can't we should we, we should just do this podcast because there's just so much to talk about it is it really is i i'm sorry guys we keep going off but yeah it's all related to though it is if you all think related. about it it's not yeah. like it's like here there there yeah. it's all it is. because of one thing like mm -hmm. if you can't talk about a bunch from one thing then it's not like you, <laughs> you're not a later. vibe <laughs> you're not a vibe but yeah one of those old school heaters you know the the ones that are not are in the wall but out the mm -hmm. wall the radiators yeah i fell on that Ooh. i was jumping on a bed yeah Ay and i fell right on see? the my daughter's always jumping on the bed i'm telling him i don't mean that and i fell. it was in my brother's room the radiator was like right against his bed so it was oh like i was jumping God. jumping jumping boom yeah and it was bad you like you you landed there I landed right on my head. I still have the scar on my head, Ooh. but surprisingly, hair grew over it. Over it. Yeah, that's, but that's you can see the white you. gash. It's probably like that big. Oh wow. Yeah, it's like right they had to stitch here. It together. While I was awake, yeah, <laughs> they had six doctors holding me down. Hmm. Yeah, they stuck needles in did my they, head. So they didn't give you anything. For they the couldn't. Pain? There was no time for it to kick in. Oh. I was too young too. Oh. I was only five. Oh, hey, hey money. Yeah. A girl was bad. but my c-sections neither one of them i've took any type of medication that was more than motrin because wow. i'm not big they wanted to give me percocet and i'm not big on that people get you know addicted to that and yeah. stuff like that and i was like uh, no sorry and then the motrin i barely would take it and it mm -hmm. was motrin 800s yeah i just kind of 
rocked it out. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of, I'm used to it. The pain so, is like it's like uh, it's annoying, but it you was could bearable. still feel the pain. I mean, we girl, still till this day, the bottom of my stomach is numb. So you're gonna do that for the dead baby? I don't know. I so the first one, it, I had to. I had to because it was like a lot of complications. She didn't want to come out. I was two weeks overdue. Um, they induced me. Nothing was working. I wasn't dilating. No um, contractions. I had like Braxton Hicks. Yeah. More so not really like contractions. contractions, contractions. It was just like really like minor and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I just got to the point where my body was stressed because I was in labor technically for four days. For a long time. So I started throwing up like liquids because everybody who knows oh. when you're on pitocin that's when you get induced the stuff that they give you through the yeah, ivy yeah you can't eat and you can't drink nothing so mm. for like a day and a half i'm pregnant i'm hungry and i can't and eat you, or drink nothing so yeah. i was started throwing up fluids that's one oh. yeah so that was like an emergency c-section the second one i was kind of over it like her i was just really pregnancy i was done. pregnant all summer being pregnant <laughs> like and i was what being pregnant i was seven months pregnant in the thing. summer and being pregnant when you're pregnant summer. you're tired in general you're just like you're tired of everything you look at stairs and you're tired <laughs> so it's like i was tired and it was hot mm -hmm, i'm seven that. months pregnant it's, it's just, hot it's the sticky. weather beautiful summer is just crazy i yeah it's i was crazy. over it so i scheduled a c-section oh yeah for 39 weeks i said if i go into okay, labor that enough time before to, yeah. that and i end up pushing that's fine However, if I get to so-and-so date and I have not pushed yet, mm -hmm. give me that C-section because I'm yeah. over it. And she, <laughs> nothing. C-section. And it's good that right now, everyone is, like, as a mom, you're able to decide how mm -hmm. you want your labor to go. Because really, before, you didn't right. have a choice. I don't want to have a C-section this time, only because if I ever do want a kid, like, in the future, future, it's got to be, like, at least four years from now. That's oh, not, yeah. like, future, future, but, you know, four years go by fast. Um, I don't want to have a C-section because sometimes, you know, after three C-sections, they really don't want to give you another, another one, one yeah. because it's too much on the scarring. Body, yeah. It's too, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. The healing process and like, it's a lot on just that one scar reopening it, you know? So they possibly wouldn't want to do that again. Neither so that's why I was contemplating on tying my tubes and stuff like that. Cause I don't want, God to forbid, something to yeah, happen to yeah, me yeah, yeah. or, you know, yeah, so yeah. There's that. Well, yeah. <clears throat> so that's why I'm really hoping I could push. That's a, but lot, that's a lot that Imani said. My mind is all over the place right now. Girl. Um, but yeah, also for myself, I think that for my first, I had it in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And you hear a lot of things. In Ghana, they say so many superstitious things. Yeah, Nana tells me. Yeah, so I'm many like, superstitious what? things. And um, also another thing, my Kones, Kones people mm -hmm. are big on like religion. Mm -hmm. Because his grandma is a whole prophetess, okay. so you can imagine how extra superstitious said, right. it will be. Um, but I think I went with the flow because I'm good with adjusting with where I, where I am, mm -hmm. and yeah. So I, I plus I was home the mo the the whole time, so there wasn't really much to do. Right. Um, but for the most part, I'll say that what you hear. It's not, it's not, it's not like people say it. No. The superstitious things that they say, right. all of those things. So it's not even true. People really do over-exaggerate. Yes, things happen, yeah. but people do over-exaggerate. And, and like I said, it's not always going to happen to everyone. Uh, yes, and not everybody So your is experience is not my experience. So stop, stop. Right. Projecting yourself. <laughs> on. So that's like, what, four questions? Okay, so question number five, guys. And it's just question number five and see how long we have spoken for. Would you have handled childbirth differently if you could redo it? Number one, yeah. For both kids? Well, I mean, yeah, you said yes. So I only say be. number one, yes, because <laughs> I waited a long time to tell everyone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I waited until I, I was six months. We did that too. Even my mom. Same, same. Like I was, we were living in the same house, and I said, <laughs> "Like I was living with my no auntie one and she knew didn't find out till until my her. best friend, my best friend and my cousin, and she's like my sister. So those were the only two people that knew because my cousin came with me to like two appointments. I think mm -hmm. she came to the appointment um, when we went for the gender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was. She had came and then. Um, my baby's father, my mm -hmm. daughter's father, Aria's dad. Um, he was there as well. So 
I know she came for that one and then my glucose only because um he wasn't able to make it you know that makes you like sick when you have to take that really yeah, nasty sugary that, yeah. drink so she <laughs> came with me for that and then yeah when I told my mom that was when I started showing oh wow I didn't show the whole time until you told them until I told them and then show, I was seven months it was they like they weren't boom. really even seeing it mm -hmm. wow and nobody could tell from mm -hmm. the signs you weren't throwing up you weren't sleeping too much I told you my first one I didn't have any type of symptoms oh wow nothing that was like my like the ideal pregnancy wow I know I'll never experience that again but oh um I wish I don't know. What would I have handled differently with mine? With my fast, I think I, it was cool. Labor was okay. Uh, and aside that, yeah, I didn't tell people till I was six months. I don't think I regret that because I really wanted to keep it to myself. Right. Sometimes enjoy, being a private person is okay. Yeah. I think no it wasn't even about being a private person I I felt like it was really aside the fact that my I mean obviously my dad had to know and then like family and right. but I felt like it was my business it was totally right. our business. I get what you mean because yeah. also like when you tell people it's like real different like everybody's yeah. always asking you things yeah and, like, it's just right. kind of like a constant yeah not like a constant nag but like a constant like in your at, business like always it, like wanting to know things when, and it's yeah. like okay yeah so keeping the f and plus it was my first and i was figuring things out so right we just had to like right. shut everybody else out right and it worked out perfectly so. some people are not understanding mm -hmm. some people are like why are you i wasn't ready to answer questions you know right we had to know what we wanted to do right. and eventually when we did we told them mm -hmm. and then yeah things worked out so yeah what would be your advice for someone who's about to have a baby hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot that's, of yeah things. that's a that's a big question actually but for maybe one just like one. one thing girl what did i but my best friend just had a baby and she's a first time mom <laughs> so i'm trying to think of everything, everything that, that i told, you told her. her yeah okay okay great. um because she wasn't too. like she she was raised very well but she wasn't like a babysitter if you want to put it like mm -hmm. how i was like mm -hmm. i knew everything already she knew nothing um like yeah, I told you her, tell I, someone? well, for one, I did tell her, and she, she just won't listen. Mm -hmm. Do not keep the. She sleeps with the baby in the bed twenty four seven. She holds him all day. He doesn't. Oh, yeah. He doesn't use the hey, money, swing. That's, that's, he doesn't use the bouncer stuff fist. like that. With your but now she's going through like a problem that. where he doesn't want. Wanna he doesn't sleep at night till she's in the bed. No. He doesn't sleep. He wakes up every hour of the day. He wow. only sleeps for an hour. He doesn't sleep longer than that at all. Period. Every day. Every day. He all doesn't day. have like good days and bad days. No. Wow. He's two months and he, he <laughs> like a, he's a good baby, but it's like she like sometimes that's she's so like true, though. oh he's crying he he wants to eat he wants to eat he wants to eat she was like yesterday you know like he he ate um too much every hour hour eight ounces wow. i'm like whoa that's too much every hour eight ounces every hour eight ounces <laughs> two months that's why i'm trying to tell you know to show her like put a baby on a schedule a yes. schedule is like gonna the be your best, best friend thing that you can do for it, a baby sometimes it could get a little annoying because you know it's and sometimes like the schedule will not baby. always go as planned but, but that's okay it it but it will be almost there yeah yeah you know, like, it's okay if they wake up at this time and you didn't want them to wake up at this time. But next time when you put them for a nap, I promise you, they'll sleep that long. Like, when you put them on a schedule, like, both of Aria and Amora, yeah, they, they both have slept from 10 at night all the way to 7 in the morning. Like, <laughs> never waking up, no nothing. Because I put them on, like, a schedule and literally they did not wake up in the middle of the night to eat. Right now, they my daughter ate well during the day, still napped, like, like two, months, two she hours. Has two like, at night because she sleeps like a full half mm -hmm. wakes up has a uh, feed diaper change sleeps till See, no, the she, morning she said that he wakes up at like one then oh, he'll no. go to sleep at like three I wasn't then he wakes back up at four it. and then he's up to like six and then by eight o'clock he's back up and, and then, she's alone sometimes so it'll be hard she, well yeah her the baby's dad doesn't sleep there so it's like most of the time she is yeah so you know it's a lot so that i just that's the biggest thing i say put your baby on a schedule and get them used to the things that you buy them the boppy the bouncy the swing everything because 
Like when you see somebody, my daughter actually has a chat with the swing. Whenever I put it in the swing, yeah, she talks. But it's like things. That's and she's not. Laughing. I mean, cause she was like, oh, but like he be, I be wanting to hold him. I feel like when I put him down, like, well, this she didn't say this. Someone else said this, but someone did say, I feel like when I put them down. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like just leaving the baby there, like not showing the baby no attention. And I'm like, what do you no. mean? So what did you buy it for? <laughs> or what did you get it as a exactly, gift for? It's yeah. there to entertain I, the baby when you need to baby, do laundry. With this baby, I've had, learned, clean, I've had to learn so much. Take a nap. I leave her to play by herself. I yeah. leave her to sleep. I leave when I see that she's starting to sleep. I just put her down. Right. And then she picks up the sleep by herself. Right. So she's actually very good at doing that. Which I like, but sometimes she doesn't do it. Obviously, sometimes right. she's off. Sometimes she doesn't want to sleep. Sometimes right. she needs me to hold her for a little bit. But she's also right. very good with going to her dad. That's one thing that I wanted to establish because I didn't right. want her to be stuck on me the whole time. Well, you don't want that at no, all. I mean, postpartum is real, mm -hmm. okay? And sometimes you do need. Now, I don't want to say separation because it's your it's your new baby, like your fresh baby, whether you've had one already, whether it's your first one, it's your new baby. So you're going to be Attached. that much more yeah. affectionate mm -hmm. and attentive because it's a new baby. It's like, who doesn't love a new baby? You know right. what I mean? But sometimes you have to put the baby down. Mm -hmm. Even if you just want to sit there and watch TV, like <laughs> you've got to have some type of si yeah, um, separation, true. you know, like you don't want the baby to get 100% attached to you, to you what yeah. if you have to go to work and you mm -hmm. need daycare and mm -hmm. like now the baby's in daycare constantly crying they don't want to eat like i've seen it happen to people in it my happens. family exactly. like my cousin i've babysat one of her kids a couple times and the whole time he was with me i swear to you he would barely want to eat and i'm like i don't know what to do he's a baby he has wow. to drink formula and she breastfed so much that because he would go to the babysitters he didn't want to take bottle so it's like okay i don't have milk mm -hmm. i can't give it I to can't you count on mommy. like and she's giving the breast milk in a bottle but he doesn't want the bottle he wants the physical nipple and she also always was holding him wow. so even like the nipple was kind of like his soother like a bubble no like a pacifier mm -hmm. so even if he wasn't drinking he would just go to sleep <laughs> she said bobo because that's what she says with her spanish her bobo. yeah um yeah so he would just go to sleep so it was like i didn't know what to do he wouldn't eat that's you wild. know what i mean or like he, um one time he cried the whole time because he's with her so much and she's always holding him and like close to him and sleeping with him that he's not used to nobody and still to this day he's three now and he still does it and i hear the uh, male children much. actually do that they get like stuck on their uh, moms a lot my aunt and hers her son stopped rubbing her nipple when he was like five and my me and my mom my sister used to be like what the hell is yeah. wrong with them like yeah. and she thought it was so normal he would just come and lift up her shirt when he was like three and just start sucking her boob and i'm like you don't think that's weird that a three-year-old that yeah got teeth and is talking that's, to you a whole dick I'm can sorry. use the toilet not even in diapers and stuff no more using the actual potty mm runs up to you and rips open your shirt and is drinking she's from your boob like feeling something from that because i don't know what she's but she's about. like very like a how can i explain my um, explain my aunt she's like one of those very nonchalant like oh, okay. people that are just like yeah, just they like life. their trees and their plants <laughs> <laughs> like don't get me wrong like i love yeah. the scenery too but mm -hmm. she's very like that she's very like Nature. modern and very like i don't i don't like i don't even like contemporary I like, like, I like stuff like that too no i do if my aunt was in right here she'd be like you guys don't do that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god she's just very like and eh. so it's like when he would do that she'd be like it's okay mm -hmm. that's what he wants mm -hmm. and we're like girl he's three he's three grow up like she was the pushover aunt yeah. too so it's like anything you couldn't do with your parents you could do with her you could do with her yeah because it's Those like cool one it's just like hey you guys it's yeah okay. do what you want you do what it's you no want. problem <laughs> and i'm just like yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever oh yeah so <laughs> that's all. That's a little weird to me. I know, but that's her, that's her personality. So we were like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, five I guess year that old question. He would fall asleep five years old, rubbing her nipple, oh. rubbing like the. That's feeling. <laughs> what the hell? Like all for feeling, literally all for feeling, guys. <laughs> I'm joking, thinking about it because it's just so funny. But now he's oh, like nine feelings. or ten. 
Um, so that question, I think we both said the same thing about mm. it. Just don't get too attached to them. Right. I mean, it's nice. Well, for your first, that's what you feel like you want right. to do. Um, but eventually, you would need to have to separate from the, the baby. The spoiledness is not worth it. Yeah. It's not. Mm-hmm. So question number seven, what has been the hardest thing about being a mom? Time. Yes, not having time to do anything. <laughs> Nothing for yourself. Nothing for yourself. <laughs> it's like everything is, like I go to the store and I will kindly spend a rack on my children. Mm-hmm. And I'll see a shirt that's like $30. I'll and be like, like, oh, that's too much. You I'll be like $30. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah, it gets like that. Or it's like, I'll go to the store. And I don't store. know how you moved from self mentality to that mentality immediately after you have kids. Right. It's because like immediately instinct. after you have them, you're it's like a, thinking like about a motherly them. instinct type it's of thing. Crazy. But it's like you go to the store and you're like, all right, I need this, 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 like a mommy day type of thing, and you leave with two things for yourself mm-hmm. and thirty things for your for kids. Them, yeah. It's like everything you do revolves around them, and I understand like you know you're just trying to better everything for them mostly, but it's like got to have time for, for yourself. yourself very important too and um, yeah but for both yeah. of us time um what has been the second the next question which is question number eight what has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom the most rewarding let me answer first what you think about it Go I, ahead. um i'll tell you that i've grown so much mm-hmm. growth mentally physically um yeah I've grown, I'm learning also, I'm working on like my patience. Like I'm working on so many things because right now it's not just for me, it's also for my kids. Um, you Because you want to be one, a good example and two, um, you know, when you talk to them, it's something that you need to be, right. practice what you preach. So right. yeah, I've just, it, it's made me a better person. Let me just say that. In every aspect of my life, I want to do better because I'm a mom. I don't. I'd say that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> um, for me, I've always been very mature, mm-hmm. and so like becoming a mom, I don't think mm-hmm. growth was really up. my yeah. my okay. thing. Okay. Only because I've like I was always just at, ahead of myself a little bit. Okay. Um, for me, I'd say knowledge. Like it opened my eyes mm-hmm. to a lot of things. True. You know, True. like when you become a mom, it's like everything around you becomes different. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I feel like. It, it opened me up to a lot of things mm-hmm. that I didn't notice before but I was already always mature enough like I always knew things but when you become a mother it's like extra everything is just like like girl I could see through things and around <laughs> things and above yeah. things like Your security conscious right. like yeah it's true that's that's also a good one uh, okay question number nine what was the most surprising thing you discovered about being a mom surprising discovered about being a mom Mm, I'd say (laughs) preferring being a mom I'd say preferring to be around my kids than anybody else oh okay I literally love guys my birthday is in two days (laughs) July 26th Happy birthday, man! And this will I'm not be supposed the, to be eating, but I will. This will be the first birthday since I've had my kids that I am on vacation and I'm not with them. Oh, that's five years, girl. I'd rather be with my children. That's how I am. Like I love to be around them. That keeps me out of whatever is going on out in the world. I do what I got to do. I mind my business, and that's it. Like you know, everything pertains to them. I don't know how people could drop their kids off at babysitters. Like, if it's not my mom, it's nobody. Mm -hmm. Or, obviously, Nana. Like, that's it. Like, if it's not their dad, that's it. That's also true. Um, I'll say what. Surprising to me. I I won't say it's surprising to me. I think I sort of expected that. Mm -hmm. I love my kids more than anything in the world. And i know every mom will say oh it's normal yes we love our kids but i right. love my kids right you know because i lost my mom right and then i had my first child i mean not immediately after but that to me was exactly what my heart was looking for right and so immediately when she came it, it felt like i wouldn't say that a void had been filled because really no one can replace my mom right. but also i felt that love again right and that love to me is on period okay guys 
that's on period like i love my daughter's two bits right no matter how and that's how it should be yes that's what i'm it's saying it's surprising to see people who love their kids or some people who even just the things that people do to do their to children the, right like, that's what i'm trying to say that's what mm -hmm. i'm trying to say no matter how like angry i get no matter how tired i am like right. i'll still stay up and take care of the girl because right. and then i'll still tell myself that right get your shit together you know like you need to be there for this girl so i just love my kids um and i never regret for a day deciding to be a mom for as young as i am because i know that there are so many young people out right. there who they're not even thinking about it in a generation especially people don't even want right. to have kids you know and this is one of it's it's probably not an achievement to someone but to me it's one of my biggest right. achievements this is like one of my greatest things because okay. looking at me before I didn't think that I was going to have kids anywhere around now, but now I do have two. <laughs> Shout out to me. <laughs> I knew I was going to have some babies. See, I, it was, I, I, it was I, bound. Didn't, I didn't. I love them so it, much. I was the I type that, like, happen. I didn't care if I was going right. to get married. I didn't care. I really didn't care for yeah, all I don't, those. So I don't know why people are always so pressed to get married. To get That's, married, you know, like, I didn't care for stuff I mean, like I that. understand, you know, I just wanted to be rich, live a good it, life, you know, travel around the world. Right. These are all things that I'm still going to do. But getting married and having kids you can still my, travel the world with see, your kids. See, it opened my eyes to a whole different Take world. Take them that's with you. That's what I'm saying. Show them what you weren't showed. You know what right. I mean? Right. That's exactly. And now, that's what I want to do. I mm -hmm. actually want to travel with my family. Right. I don't know how people go on that's vacations without their kids. That's why I haven't gone to Ghana kids. with Nana yet because I want to take them with My us. kids, right. Because I would when love to travel with my kids. Because I didn't get the chance home. to travel when I was young. And I would right. love for my kids to grow up saying, oh, right. I've been to Dubai. I've been to here. I've been to, you know, seeing around the world. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, guys, our last question, question number 10. We've had a beautiful chat, long chat. I'm, I know. If you like it. It's only number 10, and I'm like, for real? For real? Right. It's just not like 15 or 16. <laughs> no, it's not. If you guys like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, guys. <laughs> I have some of the pretzel in my mouth. I, I do too. <laughs> I can't wait to go and brush my teeth again. <laughs> Okay, guys, question number 10. What is the best memory you have involving your child? I don't have just one good memory, memory involving right, my child. Right. I feel like everything I do with my it's child is a, a good, good memory, memory because it's like it could be three years from now and you look back on it like, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, like I feel like everything with my dad and right with my child is good. <laughs> it's like, you know, you don't get to experience everything that you're going to experience with them twice. You know, because they're like a growing <laughs> human. So, mm -hmm. it's all something always different, you know. They're constantly learning. So, <laughs> it's like, and guys, I was gonna it's say, always good things. Yeah. I was going to say that. And right now, because of mobile phones and technology and everything, you constantly have memories right. with these kids. Like, you're constantly right. taking videos and pictures. Right. So, I feel like every day, like she said, is a memory. Every day that you spend with them is a memory. Plus, right now, the one thing that I think, looking back, um, with my mom, I literally don't have any videos with me and my mom. Wow. Yes, that's how crazy, I mean, as crazy as, as it may sound, I really mm -hmm. do not. Yes, we have pictures, and but I don't have, like, because phones were not, like, a Very lot. Very popular. Yes. Right. Phones right time. now are just so idolized. And it's my crazy. mom, this is, like, seven years ago, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, phones were there, but obviously i was young and i wasn't using the best of phones and it wasn't even on my mind that i was going to lose my mom so i had to keep right. keep memories of her you know right so that's one thing that i'll say is actually important keeping memories every day is a memory with my child every right. day is a memory with both kids Whew. that's all that's on period <laughs> <laughs> So guys, that's it for today's video. It's been such a healthy conversation. I know, it's such a beautiful day. Yes, it is a beautiful day here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below if you have any questions that you want to ask. I will be here to answer the questions. Um, we'll be back. Yes. I'll be back. Yes. <laughs> Imani is not really active on social media. I'm not. I swear to you I need to become more active. Yeah, I was gonna Because say. it's like sometimes I'll be on social media but I don't really post but it's crazy because I take so many pictures. And you're actually I really take pictures cute all day, to day. post pictures. Duh. My memory card is full. We gotta go guys. I love right you. Now, but it's okay. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.